Okay, so wrist mount. So from the wrist mount, you're like this. Put your non-throw hand, point your finger in, and you're gonna do an underpass like that. And then you're gonna roll the yo-yo back onto this middle string. And to get it only onto this one and avoid this other string, uh, you twist your throw hand inward and then roll onto it. So it moves the other string out of the way. And then from there, you release the slack from your non-throw hand and throw hand and puts you back into a trapeze. So again, underpass, twist, roll, release. Although there are multiple ways uh, to both get into a wrist mount and to dismount. There's, um, there's the cheese whip, where you whip the string from a trapeze. You whip the string around your non-throw hand and over your throw hand. And then from there, you toss the yo-yo in, and it gets you into the same thing, same dismount. Um, and another way to dismount, so to open the string up like this, and then just pop the yo-yo out. There's also a green triangle trick. You do the underpass, as though you're going to dismount or do spirit bomb or something like that. But then you pop the yo-yo out the front and then land it on this back string here. Then drop and then do another underpass and pull your throw hand out. And then release from the outside. And there's one-handed wrist mount where you twist your hand in under the string so it's going around your thumb. You try and open it as much as possible, you kind of make a C-shape like this. And then the object is to, you know, pop the yo-yo up and into this, and then land it onto this string inside. Let's see if I can get it. Nope. I'll edit this out. Oh, got it. Oof, that's a really high kink. That's annoying. You kind of uh, adjust it like that better facilitate spirit bomb or whatever. Anyway, that, uh, that should pretty much cover it, I think. Hope that's helpful.